Yes, I know, new background. I just rearranged my room, so I guess I'm gonna film here now. I'm still figuring it out. I'll work with angles later. Hopefully this will do for this video. But anyway, in my opinion, I don't even think the angle is that important right now. Everything else that is happening in this fandom is way more important. Even if this whole video was blurry, it doesn't even matter because it's just about what I'm saying. But guys, freaking July 21st, Dunkirk, back to you music video, back to you single, Dunkirk interview, Liam performing on the Today Show, and also One Direction's anniversary on July 23rd, and then possibly Harry coming out with his two ghost single July 25th. Am I missing anything? I don't know. It's all too much. But anyway, yeah, that was the longest intro ever, so here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. <laughs> Okay, guess what guys? I'm starting with a Liam topic. Okay, so anyway, Liam had a recent interview and you guys just have to listen to these little segments because they're so important. And the first thing we need to discuss about this interview is what Liam said about Harry. Take a look. So what's the biggest part about being in a group and now you're... So um, I think you get a lot more freedom to, to do as you wish with things. I think, you know, there was always so many different heads to please in One Direction between us as a band, the management, the label, not to mention all the fans that we wanted to please as well. And, you know, it wouldn't have always been within your taste or your design. You know, like the same way that Harry's getting to wear bell-bottom trousers now. You didn't do that in One Direction yeah. because there wasn't the sense of freedom to do so. I think everyone's come out and done an amazing stuff. I think it's nice to see the different personalities pop through and it makes more of the band, actually, the fact that you can see well. So this guy did this. Do you not know what Liam basically just admitted? It is now confirmed that One Direction did not have that freedom when they were in One Direction. This post says, if Harry wasn't allowed to wear high-waisted trousers and Zayn wasn't allowed to dye his hair, do Antis still really think the boys wouldn't have to hide a gay relationship in the band? Yes, exactly. How about that, Antis? There is now more of that chance that Louis and Harry could have been hiding a relationship. Like, nothing can now convince me otherwise. And also this says, this foreign-born A-list boy bander who has an A-list name recognition on his own was convinced after 20 minutes of pleading to remove the lipstick he had applied prior to a national television appearance. Harry Styles on Jimmy Kimmel. They literally asked Harry for 20 minutes to remove his lipstick. What? The fact that Harry came to the event with lipstick already on and they asked him to remove it before the interview, like, what? This is just proof how heavily controlled they are. This is more of a reason why I do not like their management company or whoever it is that was controlling them. And because us fans were so upset about this, hashtag Harry uses happiness not gender was trending number three, and that was the best hashtag all day. And the fact that he was restricted just makes me so mad. Oh my god. The humidity is not helping this. Anyway, going back to Liam's interview, he also mentioned about the band and if they might come back. I'll always have a connection, a special love for those boys, but right now you just leave them to do their own thing and enjoy themselves. And like, I'm sure we're going to come back around soon when everyone has, has enjoyed, you know, their time doing their solo stuff, of whatever that is, whether it's films or TV presenting or music or whatever it is. I'd like to write a book, I think. I think I've got a lot of stories. Oh, I'd love to do films, that'd be amazing, I mean. Okay, the fact that Liam might write a book, like an all-tell book, I want there to be tons of info in that book. Liam needs to reveal some more shit. And yes, Liam does need to be in some films. But also, I'm kind of confused about the return of One Direction because sometimes they say they're coming back next year. Sometimes they say they're not coming back until a decade. I don't know. The fact that the boys keep saying different things, it's really messing with my head. Okay, so we've been getting a lot of recent pictures of Harry in different places for different things, so I guess I'll start with these pictures. Okay, so basically Harry was just in LA, and a couple days ago he arrived back to London, probably for Dunkirk promo. And we got these pics of Harry in the airport, and just look at the shirt he's wearing. Like, I literally call this like a Charlie Brown shirt. This is something I would probably find in my attic. But again, since it's Harry, he can just pull anything off. I'm so jealous. And also another thing, why are they blurry? But guys, speaking of Harry being in London, it sounds like all the boys are in London now. And it's also been said that all the boys might go to Harry's Dunkirk premiere because they're all in London at the same time. And I think that premiere is tomorrow. Oh my god. And guys, if Louis goes to the premiere, please, please, please do not make this about Larry because that would ruin everything. And that is coming from a Larry. I think it would be more suspicious if Louis did not go. 
And also, speaking of Dunkirk, we got some recent pictures of Harry in a Dunkirk press conference, and look at this smiley sunflower sunshine. I don't think I've ever seen a picture where Harry looks bad. Like, every picture of Harry, even if he's just sitting there, it looks so good. So, I don't know when this press conference footage is supposed to be released, but I would like to be updated about that. And then we got another picture of Harry and Finn in this interview. This is not the last that you'll see of Harry and Finn doing interviews. They're also going to be on Jimmy Fallon July 19th. This says Harry Styles will appear on the July 19th edition of NBC's Today Show. Later that night he will visit the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. NBC says Styles will be the lead interview guest on the July 19th Tonight Show. He will be appearing in support of Dunkirk which opens on July 21st. Okay so now we're getting two interviews of Harry, one on the Today Show and then the Tonight Show. Again this is way too much. And if we go back to Harry pictures, more pictures of him in Dunkirk got released. Harry is just sitting there and he looks perfect as always. Is there also footage of this? Because I'd really like to see that as well. And guys, I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing this video. I'm trying not to. I'm just too excited. I'm also confused. So this just, I'm just really emotional right now. So that's what happens. And that's probably why this video seems all over the place. <laughs> Okay, before I go into more about this Louis topic, I'd just like to say that there is more proof that Louis Tomlinson watches my videos. So about a couple videos ago, I said it'd be a great idea if Louis just posted a snippet of Back to You every day until the 21st. And guess what? Ever since I've said that, Louis has now released two snippets of the Back To You music video. And at first I thought it was coincidence. I'm like, okay, it's only one, but then he posted another one and I'm like, oh my God, what are the chances I just said this? And obviously there's been more situations where I've said stuff in videos and Louis goes and does that or he says something. So this is not the first time. So this is not coincidence anymore. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way, here are the two snippets that Louis has posted in the past couple days. <laughs> Again. Oh. Guys, the more I listen to this song, the more snippets he releases, the more I just need to hear the full song. And I also need the full music video. Do you guys know if Louis is going to be posting the music video on the same day he releases the song? Because people are making it sound like the music video is coming out on the same day as the song. But I'm sure Louis is going to post more snippets of this music video. Also, after Louis released one of the snippets, a lot of people heard Harry's voice in the background of one of them. <laughs> In my opinion, the first couple times it kind of sounded like Harry's voice, but I highly doubt it's Harry's voice. It could be anybody's voice. It could even be Steve's voice. So tell me down below if you think that's actually Harry's voice in the audio. And also speaking of Back To You, BB Rexa actually spoke out about Louie and working with him in the song. You know, I'm really excited about the Louie record because it's like, I usually write a lot of my own music and in this case I didn't. He sent the record over to me through email and he was like, just check it out. So I listened to it. The first five seconds and it immediately caught my attention. I went to go take a shower. While I was in the shower, I could not stop thinking about the song that I just had heard. So I like, after I got out of the shower, I went back on my phone to like listen to the link and the link expired after like one listen or something. And I was like texting my manager like I need a song. I need to hear the song Please send it back to me like I need the link again I need the password like whatever ever since I heard it I was obsessed and and working with him You know as well was just it was such a cool experience very nice guy because you just don't know what to expect uh, Especially like you know, he's part of one direction and you don't know but like he is so chill and like so cool And like just still seems grateful and humble and that's I think really really cool Guys, this is why we had adopted BB into our fandom. She is so sweet. She says good things about our son. And I just love hearing these interviews. I love hearing artists talk about their experiences with the boys and how it was working with them. And it just proves even more that Louis is very down to earth, very humble, 
and it makes me want to meet him even more. This says, I applaud Louis Tomlinson because he's the only artist who is swimming in an ocean of bullshit and he still manages to make his fans happy and excited, basically on his own with no support from a promo plan or a decent team, but only with his presence, his music, and the bond he has with the fans. I wish more people appreciate that and recognize his talent. Amen. A Men. That is everything that I've been thinking these past couple weeks. <laughs> and I'm really glad that someone put that into proper sentences. Because like it's so true, Louis's not getting the promo he deserves and he does deserve a lot better. I don't know how many times I can say that Louis deserves more credit and Louis should give himself more credit. That's why I was so upset when Louis talked down about himself in the Observer magazine because like Really? If only Louis knew how much he meant to people. If only he knew how much of a great person he is, and that is an understatement. I can make an hour-long video about Louis, so I'm not gonna go any further with that. I'll, <laughs> I'll start crying. Okay, now this is a topic I've been seeing a lot around Twitter these past couple days. And I'm not going to read all the tweets because there's many, but I'm just going to go through some of the important ones. So this Twitter account named Kenny started off by saying, So my mom works with lawyers and helps them get into law firms and whatnot, so we found some tea about the entertainment industry. And then they go on talking about closeting and contracts. And basically if you're LGBT, that could ruin your image. And there was a case from six years ago linked to that. So this contract was a closeting contract six years ago and they signed it and little did they know is that they now can't get out of it and they're forced in the closet because they signed the papers and maybe within two years they can be free of this contract and it says the contract will expand and it would be longer until they are free from the contract they are starting to become more and more out of the closet if you notice articles link Louie and Harry together there's more rumors about two ghosts being about Louie they are slowly starting to get out of the closet it also goes into Freddie by saying that's Brianna's mom and stepdad's kid the rumors are real. Freddie says Dada to the stepdad and it also explains why Brianna is always with Freddie and why Freddie still looks like Brianna. Says they were blackmailed into signing the closeting contract. Same thing happened with Kesha and Dr. Luke. When she was testifying and telling the truth, she was banned from making music. Colton Hayes said he was shoved into the closet as well and finally came out and is now married after years. So hopefully I sum that up well. So tell me what you guys think about this below. Is it legit? Is this just another receipt that is made up. But guys, whether this is a receipt or not, whether it's fake or not, I feel like a lot of this information could be true because it's happened to other celebrities and it sounds pretty factual. Like it's not a receipt saying, oh, I saw Louis and Harry making out. Then I wouldn't believe it. But this stuff doesn't sound far from the truth. So I'm pretty sure there is some truth to it, whether or not some things are stretched or not. So again, tell me your thoughts about that below. And speaking of boy bands and stupid management companies, there is this new band that Simon has signed to Psycho, and it is called Pretty Much. Yeah, that's the band's name. Pretty much. Okay, so basically Simon knows that One Direction are done with him. Simon did not win, so he wants this new boy band that is from The X Factor. And I think he's trying to make them like another One Direction and us fans are not buying it. We're like, no, pretty much is never going to be like One Direction, so Simon, please stop. So even though I sound a little salty when talking about this, I still think we shouldn't be the type of fan base to be like, stop pretty much. Because listen, it's not these group of boys' fault that they're a part of Psycho or that they went on X Factor and they're signed to Simon. That's not their fault and I don't think they're trying to be like a One Direction. So why are we sending hate to the band just because they're a part of Simon now? We shouldn't want to end those boys' careers just because of our own agenda or because we love One Direction. Like, I don't find that fair to the boys. Like, I think these boys should have a chance to write music and gain some fame. So please don't send these boys any hate, but I pray to God that Simon Cowell doesn't fuck up their career like he did with One Direction. Or at least he tried to. One Direction are still slaying. <laughs> Okay, wow, I think I covered all the topics. Again, if there's anything I missed, just leave it down below. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys and Louie later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.